crazy things caught on GoPro. Number 10. Number 10. Subway Surfers. Brian Garcia and a bunch of his friends decided to go exploring one day. They brought their GoPro along with them, in the off chance that they come across something strange. Are they gonna jump on the subway? Like the game? No way they do that. And it's kind of boring if I'm speaking honestly. That is until they chance upon a railroad tunnel. Someone in the group must have had the bright idea to walk through the tunnel. Oh yeah, such a great plan. Dangers are in this kind of undertaking. You know, trains, and you never think of the danger. And they went forward anyway. About halfway into the tunnel, they heard the exact sound that they didn't want to hear. An oncoming train. Frightened out of their wits, the group ran back to where they came from, just barely making it to the exit before the train came back. Aww, thought they were gonna be jumping on it. We were impossibly lucky to have- Wait, how close though? How close were they? But I bet they wouldn't be walking oh, what? the tunnels anytime soon after that. Well, why would you even go in there? If the train was that close, wouldn't they like be able to like look and see that the train's coming though? I mean, I guess they could have been walking in there for like 10, 15 minutes before the train came, I guess. It's pretty, it was a pretty long tunnel. But still, why the heck would you walk through a train tunnel? It's, a, it's for trains. What do you expect? Is that a monkey? This footage was uploaded to the- looks like an alien. Production YouTube channel. It shows a guy strapping on his GoPro to his bike, obviously wanting to capture footage of him riding his bike. Mm -hmm. As he pedals his way along a narrow concrete bike path, you see nothing but the path itself and the scenery around him. Beautiful. Then he came upon a narrow alleyway. The heck? It was here. Gonna bike his really ass. Tells your speed. While riding through the alleyway, a strange animal jumped from the left side wall right onto the biker's path. The rider was clearly startled, but still managed to avoid running over the strange creature. Is that a monkey? Doesn't Mike look like it. Back at the creature to find out what it was, but when he did, the creature was gone. Some people have well, analyzed climb up the other side. Come to the conclusion that the unknown creature was a monkey. Let me see. Let me pause. Let me pause. Look like a monkey. Okay, that looks more like an alien than a monkey. Creature Because I've totally seen an alien before. Look like a monkey. Nah, what else would it be? It's, it's a monkey. Monkey. But what's with the extremely tiny waist, and why is it completely hairless? Yeah, what? That's what it is. It's not hairy. That's, <laughs> that's why it doesn't look like a monkey. Just had a, got a haircut. It's going back home, I guess. The next footage you're about to see looks like it should belong to an action movie. But let me tell you, this is 100% real and actually happened in real life. 12,000 feet above Superior, Wisconsin, two small aircraft were flying, carrying a total of 11 people, nine skydivers, and the two pilots. All they were expecting was a fairly routine skydive when disaster struck. I was about to say, I was about to say, I mean, at least they were prepared because they were like actually going to jump out. But what about the pilot? Mounted GoPro camera. Did the pilots have the gear on? Two planes inexplicably flew too close to each other, collided in midair, causing one of the planes to lose one of its wings and crash to the ground. The other, although damaged, there were no casualties that resulted from the accident. Okay, well that's and good. Then I guess the pilots... Treatment for minor injuries. The pilots must have been Number geared up seven. then. An insane backflip. Okay, these Red Bull videos are always now, this crazy. Is what GoPros were actually made for. Since its release, adrenaline junkies have found ways to strap these tiny cameras onto themselves in order to give us experiences normally only they could have. That was probably what Kelly McGarry was thinking prior to his extreme mountain bike run in the 2013 Red Bull Rampage. He strapped on a GoPro to his helmet and gave us an experience of a lifetime. If you don't know what the Red Bull Rampage is, it's basically a mountain biking competition wherein competitors ride their bikes down a mountain, through treacherous terrain, after requiring them to jump ridiculously long gaps. Now Kelly here, he wasn't really satisfied in just jumping these gaps. That would be too easy. Instead he opted to do a backflip while jumping these gaps. One of the gaps was 72 feet long, making it already quite insane to land a normal jump. But Kelly did an incredible backflip, and we can experience how it feels thanks to Kelly's GoPro. The entire run is uploaded to GoPro's YouTube channel, where it's garnered 177 million views so far. What? Number 6. The only thing I got to say about that, guys, is last time I went dirt biking, which was three days ago, I brought my GoPro because uh, I wanted to record it. It was like the hardest trail I had ever been on, too. But I forgot the flippin' clip to clip the GoPro on! So I couldn't record anything. Water landing. On December 11th of 2013, a Cessna 28B departed from the Kalapapa Airport on the island of Molokai. Two minutes into the flight, the plane suffered from engine failure and had to do an emergency water landing. The entire thing was caught on GoPro. In the footage, you can clearly hear the warning beeps of the plane, signifying engine failure. You can also clearly see the plane tilting onto its side before finally landing on the water. Wait. What's amazing about the footage is the calm demeanor of the passengers themselves. No one even gave a shout of panic to the point that the entire ordeal was eerily quiet. 
Wait, All the was that a and crew were able to don life vests and were able to exit the doomed plane before it sank. Did they the just show that the plane was like a water plane, like with things to land on the water? Was one fatality. A passenger Maybe not. mistakenly wore an infant's life vest, which was rated only for 35 pounds. The rest of the passengers and crew were rescued by the Coast Guard 80 minutes later. Number. And I was about to say, why did that guy have a GoPro on his head in the plane? But it looked like, no, he was just carrying. Because for a second, like all this stuff, it looked like it was like on his head. I was like, why is he doing like a POV on a plane? I mean, I guess, yeah, it's cool, I guess. POV on a plane. It's a pretty small plane though, too. Number five. Where were they even going? Did he say? I don't even know. I wasn't even really listening. I was just watching the video. Sorry. Back of the yak. The yak? Mountain biking is awesome. Although I've yet to try it, it does look. Really I prefer fun. mountain dirt biking. We owe thanks to people strapping down GoPros before barreling down mountainside. Less pedaling. This next clip would have been one of those amazing pieces of footage that would convince me to go try mountain biking. I was about but to say one, less pedaling, so you're not as tiring. But I don't know, man. When you like fall, to me it happens quite often. Like you're going up like a trail. It's like hard. There's lots of rocks and. You're gonna fall, so you like have to jump off the bike. But the bike's like 250 pounds, so then you gotta. <laughs> don't follow me! Don't follow me! Don't follow me! Then. <laughs> <laughs> and you start coughing and then you're like ah! use all your might to push it back up and guys it, it takes out like so much energy you guys have never done that like after that i gotta take like a 10 minute break because <laughs> yeah one very terrifying thing no it's not the steep drops or the slippery trails where one misstep could send you down the mountainside it's actually if a wild animal the yak what's a yak again was taken by a group of mountain bikers going down the slopes of one of the mountains in tibet which are known for a few things the extreme cold nomads and yaks what's a yak again is it like a bison the contact with all three with the yak being particularly harrowing yeah that thing the yak came from the rider's blind side and was completely a surprise it charged the rider who was fortunately able to dismount and use the bike as a barrier between him and the angry animal the rider was eventually able to back off and ride away safely though just go quicker <laughs> a fake out a who decided to push through with it this amazing trip could have ended in tragedy Number that's why you gotta bring a yak bell. I don't, I don't even know if that's a thing. In this clip, you'll see a full-grown man attacked by a cute baby moose. Yes, you heard me right. A baby moose. Unfortunately, I can't find any substantial backstory for this clip. Whether the moose was accidentally caught in a trap or it was intentionally caught for a scientific research, we don't really know. The clip starts with a man trying to set the baby moose. Then why are we seeing the video? But as soon as if you don't free, know. Instead of running into the nearby woods, it immediately trampled the Okay, man. that's why. Now, getting trampled itself isn't that funny. It's actually quite... Leave him alone, man. He just helped you. The man's views out are pretty priceless. From first time I ever got beat up by a baby moose to no Colin being nasty. These statements literally mitigated the brevity of the situation. Number three. Oh, we're in the top three now. Stuck no, enough. <sighs> In this video, I was literally just talking about this with the people I went dirt biking with the other day because one of him, one of them did this a few weeks ago, asked us to go too. And I was like, heck no, man. This is like my worst fear. I'm like, I'm claustrophobic, guys. I literally told this story the other day, but you guys haven't heard it. So I'm gonna tell you guys. The first time that I figured out that it claustroph I was like claustrophobic was we had this dinosaur playground thingy. There's like an upstairs part of it on upstairs, like a step up part. You could be like on the dinosaur. There's like bars on one side and like slides off the other side. And then underneath, there's like a little cutout hole like this big. You could like crawl in and go underneath. And whenever it rains, everyone would go under underneath and stuff. And you just go underneath it anyway. Now it's underneath it. Everybody started huddling underneath it. And I was stuck in the corner. And I just... <laughs> I had to leave. But that happens. Like, I just, I don't like not being able to like move, you know? And my friends know I'm claustrophobic. So back in the day, they used to pretty much like tackle me onto the bed, <laughs> wrap me up in sheets and like keep the sheets wrapped up. Like they would be like teaming up and like holding me so I can't move. And they know I get like mad and I start spazzing and stuff. And I just like, they're like, just don't react. Then we won't do it. But like what? So you just want me to stick there? <laughs> like, <laughs> and then what? They don't get a reaction. So they won't even get off me. Like luckily they haven't done that in a long time. And when they come here, I lock the doors now when I'm sleeping so they can't do because it's, it's still get me, man. So 10 year caving veteran Bob Johnson, along with a few of his friends, were exploring the Lost John's Cave, which is part of the largest and most intricate cave systems in Britain. He and his friends have been exploring the cave for around three hours already when they came upon a narrow part of the cave called the Tube. Bob, who came in like, why is that fun? The gap was the biggest in the group and got stuck in the narrow pass. Initially, the group found his predicament pretty hilarious. That was until they saw that water was quickly rising. Water? Fortunately, he was successfully pulled out by his friends. And Looks so much fun. In the cave, but Being stuck in a small fruit. spot with water it's coming at you. Off caving due to this harrowing experience, Bob still caves to this day. Something that I'm probably never gonna do. Same. Unless it's like a cave that's like wide open and like you're walking around like, oh, look at, look at the icicles. Because I, I, I think I did that one time. But like when you get a crawl through 
spots this one just not. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The best pick? Fortunately, this photo actually Is that real? Happened. Oh, okay. Rather, it's a clever editing job using the movie poster for Jaws. The Meg, which starred Jason Statham. Okay, the Meg. Basis. But that's not to say that there aren't any near misses with sharks filmed on GoPro. Speaking uh -oh. of which, number two. Uh-oh. A really close call. Diving off the coast of South Africa comes with great white risks. Namely, the area is notorious for being the swimming grounds of great white sharks. Still, the area is perfect for underwater activities such as scuba diving and spearfishing, so the area still attracts a ton of tourists, despite the sharks being in ever-present danger. Thankfully, the GoPro YouTube channel kindly reminds us of that. Spear fisherman Johan Potgeiter had an extremely close encounter with one of these vicious predators and was all filmed by his GoPro. Barely minutes into his dive, a great white shark can be seen swimming into view from Johan's left. He was so surprised by this you can even hear his muffled scream, but the shark hasn't finished with him yet. It came swimming straight towards Johan, but was fortunately forced to swim away by the sharp tip of Johan's spear gun. Johan, of course, swam back to the surface as fast as he could, but as soon as he broke the surface, he looked down to see the shark swimming beneath him. <sighs> Fortunately, the tip of his spear gun was pointed downwards, making the shark think twice before attacking. Johan's friends came to his rescue and pulled him to the safety of the boat. Before I hate that too. Middle of the ocean and you cannot see what's underneath you. With all those creatures, that's just scary. But I swear, shark attacks, like, I'm scared of sharks. And, like, deep ocean. Because the jellyfish do it. Um, but I'm pretty sure, let me search it up. What are the chances of being attacked by a shark? 11.5 million to 1. Like, that's rare. And I'm still scared of it. Move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Hit the subscribe button as well, guys. That? Slap that like button while you're at it. Subscribe button. You guys watch my videos every day, any Yeah. So you might as well subscribe and Keep up to date with every video. We put what out. he said. Number. Okay, last one. What's this one? Thank God for the helmet. Oh. There are a million reasons why being a soldier is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Soldiers literally put their life on the line every single day that they are deployed, as this one extremely lucky Marine found out while on a routine patrol duty in Afghanistan. The entire thing was filmed by the helmet cam of one of the soldiers on patrol. They could be seen going through a series of tunnels of some sort, when all of a sudden a bullet streaks and hits one of the soldiers' helmets. Realizing that there was a sniper in the area, the team made a hasty retreat to assess the situation. If you look at the footage closely, you can clearly see the moment of the- Ooh, I bet his life like, flashed before his eyes. Like imagine getting shot by a bullet when it hits your helmet. Your helmet. Anyway, that's gonna be for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, so like that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.